Hi there, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Christina, and today is a haul, and it is a Target haul, which are some of the best. And most of what I have here are from the Studio McGee line. I have a couple other things from other lines from Target. I love Studio McGee, I love her designs, and my style, I feel, is a little bit more modern and contemporary compared to hers, but I love a lot of her pieces that can work in a modern home, and they can also work in a more traditional home if that's your style. So even if your style isn't quite as contemporary as mine, the pieces I'm showing today, I think could work in almost any style of home. And I'm really excited, so let's just jump right into it. Okay, there's a lot of picture frames, and when I say a lot of picture frames, I mean like 10 picture frames. So this first one is, it's a square 15 by 15 with a four by six in the middle. And I bought four of these. And they also had this in a 20 by 20, which was a little bit too big for the project I wanna do. And so the project I wanna do with this, I'm gonna set this down. You might hear my daughter, she's laughing in the background, but, um, and this is her, by the way. So the project I'm wanting to do is I have four children and I have four frames and I wanted to do in black and white each of the times I first held each of my children, at least the first photograph of each of the times I held my children. Um, this one actually was the first time. This is our daughter that's special needs that's laughing. And she was in the NICU and I couldn't hold her for the first few days. So this actually, she is having a good time. But this was actually the first time that I held her. But, so my plan, is to put these photos, all black and white, in the black and white frame. So all my kids' bedrooms are on one side of the house and I have this, this sort of like cubby area where I wanted to do a little collage of these four. So I wanna frame those four pictures up just stacked on one another with a picture light over top. And I just think that would be really a sentimental way and without being too messy, it still remains modern and minimal, but very, um, sentimental. I like the photos and the pictures I have in my house to be meaningful to me, so I love that idea. And I'm just so inspired by the RH catalogs. I have a bunch of them. I just sort of like when I'm up at a pool or hanging out with my little kids, I'll just kind of thumb through there and get good design. Really good inspiration for design. And unfortunately, they don't have an Instagram account, so I have to actually go online or use their books, but really good inspiration. Okay, and now the next item is this mirror that I bought two of, and I have grand plans for them. The mirrors are so hard to show on film because it shows the reflection, but it is a round mirror with, let me see if I can get you that texture. It's like a leathered, off-white material. I love the texture that that brings to a space. So we're very minimal, we're gonna have white wall. As you see, I have like drywall behind me, it's because our house is under construction. But the plan for the home is to be all white walls, we have black doors, and then cement floors. And so I love adding in, though not adding in color, just different textures, and I love that mirror. So our plan is we have a fireplace, so I'll try to pan the pictures of it, because it's still under construction. We still have to add the marble surround to it. But then we're gonna have two bookcases, is the plan. And I'm getting, again, inspiration from Restoration Hardware, where they will have books or planters or boxes up on top of these already tall shelves to build up that space. So I have pretty tall ceilings in my house, so I wanna definitely use that vertical space. And so I wanna use these two mirrors on top of these bookcases that I don't own yet, but that is the plan in the future. Once all the, once all the construction is done, I'll get them. And then I wanna style them up, and I'll show you some of the different ways I'm thinking about styling with those mirrors. But I love to decorate with mirrors. They bring in natural light, they just fill up the wall space, but not with anything too busy that I'd get tired of, because it's just a reflection, unless you get tired of your own reflection. But this will be high up, so we won't even see ourselves in the mirrors. They'll just reflect light and add another layer and texture to the house. So 
So I'm really excited about those mirrors. Well, I'm really excited about the bookcases that I need to purchase. Okay, so for the next Restoration Hardware dupe, but using Studio McGee products, thank you. Thank you, Target. Are more picture frames. So this is a set of two. And as you can see, it has like kitchen vases or vessels. And I just love the matting. I love the bit. I love an oversized matting and the black frame. So I actually bought three of these, which is six frames because it comes with two. And really well priced. It's an 18 by 18 size. And for both of these, I think it was $45. So for two frames, it's a really good price. And I don't mind doing a little DIY and changing out the photos. So this, I'm, I could, I haven't decided what I want to do with these, but I'm really glad that I bought six of them. Well, six frames total, three sets, because oftentimes I think, oh, I'll just get two. And I have a lot of walls in my house and I have a lot of tall ceilings. And I always forget about proportion and scale, that I need to either get really big things or a lot of things to fill up a wall in my space. Otherwise it looks like some itty bitty frame, you know, on a big wall and then it doesn't work. So I either am gonna do like three, three, three with like a mirror in between or just a collage of all six, or I haven't decided yet, but that's, I'm still debating what the project is gonna be. I'm really tempted, I'm not sure I'm gonna use these frames for it, but I also love those nest um, prints that Meghan Markle made famous. They kind of, it's about nesting at home and being with your children like a mother hen, a mother bird. And I really thought those were really beautiful in her home. So I wanna bring those into my home somehow. I might not get, I might get her exact ones I'm actually debating, or just doing that same idea, but with those frames and getting like a squared picture of nests, like all black and white. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. I could just do other family photos. So that's in my mind in the works. I mean, they're black and white frames. They can kind of go in any room. Um, my house is very minimal and contemporary. So those would work with any, in any of the rooms in my house. All right, on to the next piece. Okay, more white, white and black. It's the theme of the haul. The next thing I have is actually navy, so we'll get to that. But this just has such nice texture to it, but while being minimal, this alone or this with branches coming out. This one was not the Studio McGee. This was the Project 62. I also like a lot of their pieces as well. So yes, definitely good find. They also had a smaller version that was like up to here. I resisted and just got one, didn't get two. Okay, now for the last item. This is a small item, but this was a recommendation from the House of Valentina here on YouTube. And it's from the Hearth and Hand with Magnolia, Sugared Birch. Oh, it smells like Christmas time, but like Thanksgiving to Christmas time. It smells of pine, like a pine tree, evergreen smell, but softer. I sometimes smell the evergreen ones and they're like, really intense. I know um, the balsam fur, I think is what it's called, from Bath and Body Works is really nice, but it's kind of like a little intense for me. This one is like a little bit softer, a little bit sweeter. I'm sure that's where the sugar comes from. The textured bottom, and then it's navy. I'm branching out. I'm doing a color, hardly. It, just, it blends in with my clothes and my blue eyes, so I don't, I don't deviate that much. I wore a red lip today. I do. I'm not afraid of color. I just introduce color very carefully and selectively. So definitely check out that fragrance. I'm sure there's, there's other good ones, but I went off the recommendation of House of Valentina and that one is really lovely. Probably won't burn it quite yet, but a great fall winter candle. So I hope that this haul gave you some inspiration. I love Retrition Hardware. And if you're watching this video, you probably do too. And some things I'll splurge on, like I'm planning on splurging on those restoration hardware shelves. But like picture frames, I don't think you need to splurge at restoration. I think you can find that look for less. You just need to keep in mind scale. And when they go all the way up, they choose the bigger frame. So really studying how they do it. I love to go to their galleries. If you have a gallery in your city, definitely go and just walk around and take pictures and get inspired by how they decorate. So I hope this was helpful and inspiring and I will catch you in my next video. Bye-bye.